Hello friends, welcome back to Database Academy. So in this session we will learn SQL tuning tips. How can we improve the SQL statement so that it will perform better. So let's start. Okay, so the requirement is like when we want to fetch the data from some table, there are some condition like either we need to fetch the department from department 10 or from the department 20 only. So in this case generally people write a statement like n1 equal to 1 or n2 equal to 2. So that means if we consider department here, so department equal to 1 or department. So only department 1 and 2 related data only I want to see. So many of the people will write a state SQL statement like this only. So department equal to 1 or department equal to 2. How can we improve this SQL statement? So we can write a same SQL statement like this. So we can use a like uh, fetch the data from the employee table. We can fetch the data from the employee table for department number one and union all and again fetch the data from the employee for the department number equal to two. So this way we can improve the performance. If we use union all, if we have index on a column like n1, the index will be used here. But if we use or condition, then index will not be used. Let's see the another example. How can we tune the query? So let's see, we have another query where we want to fetch the column from the T1 table, T2 table and T3 tables. And we have joined the T1 table ID equal to T3 tables, uh, T3 ID column. And again, T1 ID is joined with T2 ID columns. And then we have mentioned that T3 ID greater than 6. How can we tune this query? We can write this query in a different way, which will improve the performance here. So what we have done, we have write a two statement here. So the first is select a statement fetching all the data from the T1. Okay, because here in the select statement, we are we need a T1 data and T3 uh, columns. So T1 columns and T3 columns. So that's why we have fetching here from the all the columns from the T1 table. So what we have done here, T1 and T2, we have make a join condition here and we have just given alias here and another select statement from the T3 tables where we have mentioned the ID is greater than six here. So in this, in the select statement, we are fetching only those records which are greater than six. So now in the upper select statement, we have joined with the, this T12 ID and T3 IDs. So this way it will improve the performance of a select statement. Okay. So we don't need to fetch the all data, unnecessary data. We can filter out at the initial time itself when we are fetching the data from the select statement. Second example, how we can modify the existing SQL statement and which will improve. Let's see the another example of how can we improve the performance of SQL statement. So here, let's see, we have a select statement and here we are using a group by class. Okay. So we, we are fetching the column from the T1 ID T1 N column and pad column and we are fetching the sum of the N column. Okay, so here we are joining two tables T1 and T2. We have added in where condition and then and here in the group I we are mentioning ID N and pad these columns. 
how can we improve the select statement let's see so we can write this SQL statement in a different way which will improve the performance so how can we do this like in the inner query first we'll write a inner query which will have a limited columns in the group by so here we are fetching the data from the t2 t2 table and here itself we are using a group by n so only one column is used and we get the data which is required from the t2 tables and now we are joining this t1 and t2 here in the where condition and in the select statement we are fetching all the columns which are required in the in the previous select statement so this way we can improve the performance of a select statement reduce unwanted column from the group let's see the another example how can we tune the query so let's say we have a select statement I have seen so many queries in the production also people are writing like this way they are fetching the n1 n2 n3 columns from the t1 table and top of that they are using just single columns how can we improve the performance so we should use those column which are required so here we can write a select n1 from the t1 we can further improve this query how can we do this we just remove the inner query we just use select n1 from the t1 so this way we can improve the performance of the select statement reduce unnecessary column or expression from the select clause or subquery inline view or regular view let's see the another example how can we improve the performance of sql statement so let's say here we have a select statement where we are fetching the data from t1 and t2 using union all and after that we are applying that we want the id data from id data which is equal to 1 so how can we improve this we can write this select statement in a different way to improve the improve to improve the performance of a sql statement so let's see how can we do this so we can use a different way like select star from t1 in the in the union all in the union all only we will add a where condition because after filtering in the first select statement we are fetching all the records from t1 and t2 and then later on we are adding condition like we need a data for id equal to 1 only so what we can do here in the next select statement which will improve the performance of a sql statement will fetch the id which will fetch the data from the t1 table where id equal to 1 at the initial time only so we'll add the where condition here in the for the t1 and t2 also and then on top of that we'll fetch the select star from all the all the records from t1 and t2 so this way it will improve the performance so we should the pur the purpose of this filter push down is to push restriction inside the view or inline view that can be merged we should always try to get the limited data which is required we should always try to fetch the data which is required we should try to avoid unnecessary data at any cell level only okay so we, we should not fetch all the records and then we'll after that we'll apply some where condition to filter out it is always better to add a where condition at any cell stage okay so these are the some SQL tips which will improve the SQL performance. Hope you have liked this videos and please subscribe my channel if you learn something new in this video and I'll continue uploading new videos related to the SQL tuning tips and much more things from the database. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग